Hello, we are live. I'd just like to make sure that you can hear me and you can see that the screen has changed to tell you how long the webinar will last. If you could put a yes for me in the question box so I know that you're getting the signal. I'm seeing lots of yeses already. That's great. Wonderful. Thank you. Now, I know some people are still signing in. So while that ha happens, uh, let me explain about the webinar duration. So welcome, first of all. We're going to try to condense this into a maximum of 60 minutes for you. We want to give you some strategies that you can take away and use for your own online businesses, and we don't want to overwhelm you with too much information. So we're going to try to keep this to a sensible uh, length of time, and the demo of the software we're going to be talking about will probably only be five minutes because it's so simple. But the rest of the time, we're going to be talking about why this works, how you can do this, uh, some of the strategies you might not have thought about for monetization, and so on. Now, the format's going to be really simple. There's a simple technique. It is so simple, it's untrue, for curating and publishing viral content. We'll explain how you do it, what it is, and so on. And then we're going to make you a special offer on the software that we're going to show you, which is called Swipe Viral. Now, the technique is really simple. So because of that, this is going to be a really plain webinar with plain slides. We're not going to do fancy animations and all that kind of stuff. This is something that is incredibly simple to do. But if you do it manually, it takes a lot of work. It's a lot of time. And so a tool that helps you to do it quickly makes the difference between doing it at all and not bothering. We're going to talk to Josh about the deal with viral content. What's it about? What does it do? You know, what's the whole point of it? So we're going to look at Mashable. We're going to look at one of my favorite sites. We're going to talk about building a list, affiliate marketing. Actually, Josh, you, um, you've been posting to your own real blog, haven't you, some, some posts. I've been doing test posts on a demo site for the videos and so on, but you've been posting to a real blog of your own. Yeah, I have. I, I published a couple uh, here recently over the day, uh, last day or two, and I thought it would actually be a good opportunity just to show people what it looks like. So what I can do is instead of sharing the screen, I will just uh, copy a URL and I'll paste it in the chat box here so people can kind of take a look. And this is just a quick post that I published out there. there I'm actually going to go to that, that link uh, so I can show people. So this is a real blog, which is one of Josh's, and I'll just show you that now. So this is a, a, a blog about Germany. So this particular uh, one is about street food. Now, that should be showing on your screen. I see the comments now. now. Great, great. So I, we know what to do for next time, Josh. So there's a couple of things to notice here. It's great content. It's about street food in Germany. Anybody who's interested in visiting Germany might want to learn about this. So that's a great piece of content. But have a look what's around the content. All this advertising is affiliate links for Josh and his site. So anybody coming onto this page and clicking one of these links here or sharing the content and so on is going to make some money for Josh. But the content itself is something that he found on YouTube and he's added some uh, text himself, which we're going to show you in a little bit. But that's an example um, of a real blog with some real content. And because the internet is so massive, I mean, if you think about how many videos are posted to YouTube every day, it's some ridiculous number. There's going to be every niche you can think of. If you have some weird and wonderful niche, don't worry, there's going to be a video somewhere. Somebody's going to be talking about it. And so you can actually uh, curate that content. We talk about curate, by the way. We'll explain that a little bit more later. And I think as well, it's probably important at this point, Josh, what do you think? Should we talk about this duplicate consent, uh, con content fallacy that people have? Yeah, I because think it'd be a good idea. I think a it needs to be addressed. Yeah, a lot of people think that duplicate content cannot rank. And that's simply not true. Google themselves have always said duplicate content is not penalized. It's not a problem. The problem is if you're trying to uh, throw a ton of links at it and then you know, falsify the search engines. If you do it organically, it's totally different. And also, if you add to the content, if you want to in particular, uh, you can make it unique by, as Josh has done here, putting some of your own spin on it. And we'll see more about that in a little bit when we talk about the strategy in more detail. But we can tell you, very simple, black and white, duplicate content isn't a problem. This is actually curated content rather than pure duplicate content. And Swipe Viral, by the way, is our, our software, Mandy's asking. And by the way, Eamon, just yeah. to add to that, I think people really get stuck on this duplicate content thing. Yeah. And for one thing, the thing that you just said, it's not even really duplicate content, it's curated content. And yes. Uh, Google's own YouTube <laughs> tells you to share the videos. And yep. another thing, uh, 
it's 2019 if you guys didn't notice i think a lot of people in internet marketing are kind of stuck in 2009 and they're so stuck on this duplicate content thing and, and google 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 because 10 years ago everything it was google Google's everything, and that's no longer the case. Uh, this stuff doesn't matter. You just need content that will share. You need content that will be popular, and that's what this does, and that's what this is. Yeah, and that's an important point. You know, the, the world has moved on from the blog and ping days of 2007 and so on, and people are consuming content all over the place on their mobile phones, on iPads, on tablets, uh, you know. You Look, you walk down any street and you will see people walking like zombies looking down at this little device in their hand. They are consuming content. People cannot get enough content. And they don't care where they consume it, which we're going to prove to you in a couple of minutes with some example sites that are doing exactly what we're talking about and making good money. When you see them, I mean the big name sites, um, they're just taking other people's content, curating it, adding a little bit of value. And by the way, I do mean a little bit. And then attracting people to their site. So we'll show you that in a moment. Uh, we've got a couple of questions. Let's have a look. Um, we'll I'm going through them. Yeah. I'm oh, yeah. Through I'm through right now, Eamon. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to try to get them caught up here. I'm behind because I didn't have them at first, but I'm, yeah. I'm okay. working my way through. And any that you think we need to address publicly, Josh, if you just sort of interrupt and, okay. and let me know. Yeah, I'll let you know. So we're going to have a look at a couple of sites now which do exactly what we're talking about. And what they do is they look for content that will be of interest to the people who might read their blog. So here's one. I'm going to start with this one, which is Mashable, major site, as you know. Um, now, this particular content, let's just have a look at this for a moment. So we've got uh, some links here. We've got some ads here. These are Google ads. We've got another affiliate link here. You see, we've got um, various links down the right-hand side to more curated content. So they're keeping people within their site. And we've got a, a video from YouTube, which is a fun video, I guess. It's somebody, you know, out in the snow with his dog. Have a look at how much content they've added to make it their own. So I can tell you now that people will watch this and enjoy it and laugh. And they can share this particular web page because they're, they're finding it funny. You know how many cat videos get shared, right? Well, the people who are gonna click on here don't care where this came from. They just care that they've seen it and it's funny. And I'm not gonna play the video. It doesn't really matter what the video is, but it's curated content of something that people are interested in. We know it's the kind of thing people are interested in. If it's already popular, think about what that means. If you, let's say you were a manufacturer and you came up with a new instant coffee and everybody wants to buy it, how many stores are going to start selling it? Everybody, because it's popular. How sensible would it be not to sell something that's selling in droves? I mean, it just wouldn't make any sense, would it? So in the same way that um, the curating content here, because it's popular, stores sell content that is popular. We just call it product, right? They sell the cereal that's popular. They sell the coffee that's popular. And guess what? Not every product is popular. So something Josh was mentioning earlier is that you know, they line the shelves with all these different products and some of them will stick, some of them won't. So some of them will stop selling and so on. We're not saying to you that every single curated post that you publish will be a hit. Some of them will. You don't need a 100% hit rate, right? You yeah, yeah. and Eamon, yeah. Hey, on that topic, we were talking about what we were discussing before the webinar. Uh, you know, even Walmart, I mean, even these big chain stores, Target, Walmart, uh, any of these stores, uh, even the small stores, they don't just get all kinds of product and just various products and just throw them in there and just hope they get they get bought. They put the sellers, the winners in there. They sell what yeah. they know yeah. will sell. They sell what's popular, and they don't sell the stuff that they know isn't going to make them any money. And so this is the same thing that Swipe Viral does, and so many internet marketers do it wrong. They just put various random content out there, and then every now and then they might get one to go viral. Well, doing this, you are getting those that have already become popular, and you're leveraging yeah. that on your site. Yeah, I mean, if you want to, if you want to spend months trying to work out what's popular and what isn't, have fun. You know, I'm not doing it. You can do it. But, you know, if you want to know what is already popular, let somebody else do the work for you. And then you stand on the sh on the shoulders of giants, as it were. Right. Let somebody else uh, take all that effort in finding out what's popular, because the, the truth is, if we could predict in advance what's popular, 
we'd all be multimillionaires, right? Nobody can predict that. But what we can do is look back with hindsight. And when you see some figures in a moment or two, you'll see what I mean about that. Because hindsight, I know it's a cliche, but it's 2020 vision, right? Meg's just made a comment. I'm gonna, before I show you another website, I want to make this comment uh, public. She put two videos on one of her blogs yesterday using Swipe Viral. Then she looked at the numbers visiting. She uses a statistical tool there. Uh, and it looks like her visitor numbers are likely to increase by about 27% this month compared to last month. But that was when she looked at it yesterday. When she's looked at it today, because it's got the whole of yesterday's data included, her visitors are likely to increase by about 32%. And I dare say if she looked again tomorrow, she'd see a, a slightly higher figure. So just by putting a couple of videos on her blog, a 32%, that's nearly a third, let's call it a third, increase in site visitors. If she's monetized her blog properly, that should also translate to about a third extra revenue. From what? From two swipe viral found videos. Let me show you another website that does the same thing. Now, this is one I'm interested because I'm into photography, right? And you can see there's a ton of stuff here. Uh, we've got some, um, their own products being sold here, but these could be just as easily um, affiliate products. And they do uh, affiliate links as well. And you see there's a whole ton of stuff here. Now, there was one that I had a look at earlier because I was interested in it, this one. Now, this particular guy in the clip here is a very popular YouTuber, and he makes good money from his YouTube channel with AdSense. So Ryan Menz, or Menz, I'm not sure how you say his name, is not this guy. He is the guy who's curated a video. Let's have a look at this. Again, I'm not playing the video. You can watch this later if you want to. But this is a comparison of two relatively new cameras, which people love to know about, right? And this is how much unique content f-stoppers have added. Now, some of it is just spec. How much is it? You know, what's the megapixels? This is straight off the product manufacturer's website. So in reality, the only bit of pure content they've added is this, a single paragraph. 16 shares already, a couple of comments. Let's see if people are complaining, just out of interest, that this content has been taken from YouTube, because that will tell you whether people are happy with this kind of curated duplicate content. Let's have a look at the comments. Max is not informed very well about this. OK, he doesn't understand all the ins and outs. And then there's a comment back from the uh, poster. So this has nothing to do with saying you've taken content from YouTube and put it on your own blog. This is actually a comment, and it's still early because it's only been published a little while ago. It's a comment engaging with the content on somebody else's blog. This is not Max Yuriev's blog. This is F Stopper's blog. But they're getting people to engage with them with somebody else's content. It works. Now, I could show you a, a ton of others, but you can have a look at this website yourself later if you want to. Um, they, they've got all kinds of um, curated content here. Um, and you'll see if you go through it. Some of some of this, they occasionally throw in their own uh, like review and so on. But a lot of it is to do with good content that they found by trawling through YouTube. And then they're uh, parceling it up to make it easier for their viewers to come and consume that content content in one place. So they're kind of hitting the interesting points that their viewers want. Uh, now, let me just see if I can show you some of the monetization. They actually sell their own product here. So there's, there's an affiliate link, that's an AdSense one. Uh, these are courses that they sell themselves. So these are DVD courses, but they could just as easily be affiliate links to a DVD course. And then sometimes within the articles themselves, they will have links to products that are mentioned in a video. So there's multiple monetization. Uh, now, that's Mashable, that's F-Stoppers. There are lots of others as well. So we've talked about affiliate marketing, Josh, there very briefly, but we didn't mention anything about um, curating an email list. So can people uh, actually build an email list from this kind of content, Josh? Uh, they can and they should. It's it's a awesome idea, and I think everyone probably or most of the people probably saw the email that we sent out. I don't remember if that was yesterday or the day before about using swipe viral content to build an email list. Um, yeah. As you all may know, we built our business on email marketing. Uh, email marketing is still our primary uh, method of uh, generating revenue and contacting our people. And Building an email list all comes down to it starts with that first hook 
that first headline, that first promise or whatever it is that gets them interested in you enough to give you their email. And so, you know, I used the example in the email. I think it was a really good one. If I said, you know, an awesome hook for a weight loss product would be, you know, how I lost 50 pounds in five weeks. Well, that's awesome. 50 pounds in five weeks. That's a lot of weight in a short time. The problem is I haven't lost 50 pounds in five weeks and I don't want to, to be honest with you. <laughs> I yeah. mean, I wouldn't mind if it was, well, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, so, so the problem is I haven't done that. And so the good thing is a lot of people have. And in 2019, a lot of people have shared that on YouTube or maybe there's some kind of a checklist on Pinterest or somebody shared it on Twitter. And so you can find that with Swipe Viral and you can post that on your blog, on your site. And then you can rightly, accurately, ethically, legally make that promise. You know, you, you, don't, you don't say me. You know, you have to word it a little differently. But you say how to lose 50 pounds in five weeks. And so that's your headline now to get their name and their email. Once they opt in, they get sent to a page that has that video or that whatever embedded in it. And so now you have – and that's, you know, that's one of so many examples, seemingly un, 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 uh, unending examples. And so it's an awesome, awesome, awesome way to build a list. And that's just one of many ways to use it. Yeah, and you know what? I've just shown you on here. Hopefully you'd have noticed that here's a subscribe button on F-Stoppers down at the bottom right on Mashable. They've got this nice-looking – you know, phone icon and get your hottest stories delivered to your inbox. Somebody was asking about, can you do this for cat videos? Look, people love cat videos and they like jokes being delivered to their inbox and so on. I'm not saying you'd build specifically a niche on cat videos, but people who like cute cat videos like funny videos. So if you're sending them a fun video every day, um, why not build a list? You, you know what? Some of my family send me these videos every day in email and I hate them. I don't like them, but they think they're doing me a favor by forwarding to them them to me because people want to share what they think is funny and so they're getting it on lists and so on and you know they're being forwarded emails with that kind of thing if it's something that people like yes they will build you can build a list off it because people want more of the same so these particular websites are just examples now i don't know uh, whether you want to have a look at uh, everything about germany again josh or do you want to publish some post and we'll see what it looks like. I, I want to do that, but I haven't been able to yet. I'm, I'm still okay. going through com. We have tons of comments. We have tons of people who have uh, who have tuned in today. We have a full house and I'm kind of running behind, but I do want to do that. I'm going to show people how quick and easy it is. So you're going to see here soon once I get a chance to do it, yeah. how quick I can post some pretty awesome content. Brian saying shows how swipe viral can be used for business lead development rather than funny viral stuff. It doesn't have to be funny stuff, Brian. These are just some examples we were talking about there. I was showing you um, a photography site, and we also showed you Mashable. The photography sites sell their own. They sell. They, they have a business. They run a business. They sell training videos, or uh, certainly online videos. They sell DVD courses. They get people onto the site by putting on popular content that people want to look at. So for whatever your business may be, if you find the content that people are interested in for that particular type of business, you can get them to your site. What you do then is up to you. You can have affiliate links. You can sell your own stuff. I mean, that's just monetization 101. But let me show you. Let me actually show you now what this looks like when we go into swipe viral now I'm going to do a demo and one thing I want to emphasize here this is not training the training is in the help area this video with all the strategies that we're talking about will be included in there over the weekend so this is not meant to train you what to click on this is meant to show you how easy it is to do the job okay so uh, by the way ahead. Eamon I wanted, I wanted to point out because we had a bunch of people ask we yeah. are planning on uh, we did go ahead and record this we weren't planning on it but we want to keep this the training area the trading training section where we talk about strategy we want to give that to all swipe by viral customers so we are going yeah. to add that portion of the webinar to the help area within swipe viral yeah, absolutely. So you, you're just seeing some basic stuff now but you will get all the training uh, and the downloads and so on within the user area. So I've got a, a project here. You can have multiple projects if you have clients, for example, or different niches. And I'm gonna do a new job. Now I'm gonna do this to an example weight loss site. So demo weight loss niche. Uh, and I'm gonna choose YouTube videos, but you can do tweets or Pinterest pins. I like YouTube videos, but we'll see what it's like and we'll do weight loss. 
So I'm going to create the job and it will be pretty quick because uh, I did this earlier so the results are already cached. If it's new, then it may take a little bit longer. When it's finished, you see it's here. So I've now got some results and I can have a look at the videos. I can choose the one I want to curate. I can add some content. So let's have a look at actually uh, how this works. And I'm going to just see which one catches my eye. That's an interesting one because you've got a massive weight loss. Uh, Josh talked about 50 pounds. Look at that one. Uh, weight, oh, there, 10 celebs. Now, how do I choose from these? Well, which one is popular? I can see that the views column tells me that the Zumba Dance has 123 million views. That's popular. 9,000 comments, 472,000 likes. This one's had 967,000 likes. So I can uh, choose any of these depending on the numbers that I like. I'm going to choose the celeb one here. I'm just going to have a quick look at the video itself. Melissa McCarthy, okay. Um, so let me just have a few seconds, and you can watch the whole thing if you want. Okay, so it looks all right to me. 13 million views, 46,000 people like it, right? I'm going to post this to my example blog, and it's going to take a couple of seconds. So we'll call it weight loss here, and the title will be 10. Uh, you can put whatever title you want, by the way. 10 celebs who lost massive weight. Now, in the content area, this is where you can make it unique yourself if you want to, or if you like, you can be lazy and use some of the free content that we give you within the PLR database and Article Builder tabs. So if you can't think of anything, you can choose health and fitness, for example. You can choose weight loss, do a search. You can choose keywords, and then you can pull in content rather than typing it yourself. So let's have a look. Yep, yeah, I like that one. So you see it's in there now. Now, I'm not going to post that entire thing. I just want just a couple of them that will do for me. So I've now got some content. I'm posting the video above the content, or I can make it below, and I can make it a publish or draft. Watch what happens. Click the button. I'm talking. So it's taken me five times as long to do as it would if you weren't talking. Have a look at the post. That's already on my blog. I've got a great featured image. Depends on your theme. It may be smaller on some themes, but for my blog, this gives a full-size image. And there's the video, and there's my content. That's how quick it was. But I can go further. I can go further than that, because what I can do now is I can post to my Facebook page. I can post to Twitter, Tumblr, and Pinterest. And this will link back to my blog, which was here. So the posting to social media is promoting my blog not the link for the original video. Just let that sink in for a moment. This viral content, which we know people like, is now going to point back to my blog, thereby giving me a little bit more uh, juice, as it were, in the search engines. And because it's popular, Google loves popular content, right? Google absolutely love popular content. And to answer the question which um, Peter's just asked, Google actually gives you the ability to embed a video from within YouTube. So you can embed it. They're, they're letting you do that. They're actually encouraging you to do that. Now, I'm just going to play this for a second, and I want to see if any adverts appear. Yeah, where these yellow bars are, some adverts should appear, I think, for this particular channel. Let me just see if it will appear. There we go. So there was an advert there, and I've clicked off too soon, but anyway. That advert on that video will give that YouTube channel some money. That's great. Good for them. However, on my website, I can have advertising, affiliate links, and any other monetization that I want. So anybody coming on this website, if they click on the advert within the YouTube, the channel gets it, the YouTube channel. If they click on one of my adverts, I get the money. So you can see how here F-stoppers have all kinds of adverts. Mashable has all kinds of adverts. Monetization can be multifaceted. Uh, I'm getting a couple of questions, so let me just uh, answer them. MWSFTT is my website for testing things. Uh, this website that you've just seen, my blog, it's purely a test website, so I can break things, try them, and so on. Uh, I don't normally make my real blogs known to people, but you know, for something for a demo, that's the one I would use. So next question is, so for example, Eddie's asking, if I have three niches, 
can I create three social media accounts for each niche? Um, if you want to. Mandy, is there no branding as imposted by Swipe Viral? No, we don't brand anything. You know, it's up to you whether you want to put branding in, but we don't add any on there. Um, so let's have a look, find another. So I'm just going to post another one, Vancey's Incredible Transformation. Let me just do this, because that one, I think this guy lost hundreds of pounds, if I remember rightly. So I'm going to post this uh, to the same demo blog, but I'm going to call it um, Weight Loss and Skipping Meals this time. And then for the content, let me show you how easy it is to make it unique, and then we'll, we're pretty much done. Wow, this is inspiring. Tell me what you think of this guy's weight loss. I am flawed. Okay, so I'll post the video and then I'll show you the video on my blog. That took me, what, five seconds? And it took a couple of seconds for it to uh, be posted via Swipe Viral. Again, the image, again, the video, and then the content as much or as little as you want. Now, the important thing I want you to notice here is that this is not meant to be training. It's meant to show you how simple it is to post to your blog. And then the same click, um, in fact, let me, yeah, I'll do that one. I'll post, show you what it looks like in um, YouTube. Uh, okay. So if you're logged in to Facebook, this will actually show you what your post will look like, and then you can publish the post to Facebook. I'm not logged in, so I'd have to put in my details here to log in. By the way, that means your login details for Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, we don't store them. You have to put them in yourself in the browser. So that would post it to Facebook for me. This would post it to Twitter. It's the same kind of thing. I've got security on here, as you can see. Um, so that would post to uh, Twitter, and it's giving the link to my website. So I'd log in and that will tweet. It's a couple of seconds for each. Now, I know there's a ton of questions. We'll come to them in a moment or two. But all I wanted to show you here is that it's literally a couple of clicks, a couple of seconds, and you can have as many of these projects as you want. And you can have as many blogs as you want. You can add as many of them as you like so that you can post for any niche. If you're doing it for clients, you can have multiple clients and so on. So please bear in mind, this was just a very, very quick demo. It wasn't meant to be full training. It's just to show you it literally is click, click, click. It's as simple as that. So I think personally that that's about as easy as, as you can get. It's as easy as pie. I know that's a cliche again. Now, let me just take some of the questions, um, if you bear with me for a second. So um, no branding, correct. How do you post to Mashables? We don't. We're not posting to Mashables. That was just an example site that is using curated content. Uh, what about indexing the sites into Google? Do we need to change the meta tags or just build links or let them rank naturally? We let them rank naturally, but posting to your social media as well will help with that. Is this product just for blogs? Yes, Martin, it is. You're posting to blogs there. Um, a viral video doesn't guarantee traffic on a new blog. No, Marius, nothing gar guarantees traffic. But popular content is more likely to get you traffic than content nobody wants. Hey, you know? Eamon. Uh, yeah, right. A, a couple of things. First, uh, we do allow you to uh, post not only the viral content to your blog, we also allow you to share it on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Tumblr, etc. Oh, yeah. Sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. And another thing is, uh, I think a lot of people um, really underestimate the value of viral content. I mean, yeah. whenever when your content from the, from day one, from the very beginning, is already proven to be popular. You have such a multiplied um, opportunity, so that's an, a chance of getting a lot of traffic from it. I mean, just if you just think about it, and we know from experience over years, I mean, if your blog is full of content that has not been proven to be popular, then a lot of it's not going to be. And, uh, you know, obviously you're going to have to work that much harder to promote it. But if all of it is already proven to be popular from the beginning, then you have to work that that much less for it to catch on. And with social media, that's the beauty of social media. Um, you know, one post can just get hot. And one, I mean, there are there are businesses out there 
who got their start from one viral piece of content, one viral piece of content that just went crazy and just flooded their website, and that just made other stuff popular, and, and their business was born. I mean, that's the power of viral content. And another thing I wanted to point out that I did pu publish some to everything about Germany. Uh, these are just in the past. When did you bring that up, <clears throat> Eamon? When did you ask me? Uh, about, about seven minutes ago. Seven minutes ago. Well, in that time, I have gotten one, and these uh, I – I just published these. You all saw the site when we started the webinar. I just published these all through Swipe Viral, and I've just published one, two, three, four, five, we're five now. posts. We're seeing them now. Yeah. Uh, so, and this this page is monetized, as you can see. So the ultimate German food tour. Let's have a look. And these are, I mean, these are awesome posts. <laughs> I'm excited about them. I mean, I, I was looking forward to posting these because I know that my audience and everything about Germany will love them. The interesting That's thing about the written content here, Josh, is mm -hmm. that it's just enough to make me want to watch the video. So you're not yeah. even putting a great deal in there, but it's Absolutely. it's kind of setting the scene that I'm going to find out something about German food. So if I'm traveling to Germany, I'd like to know that. And in the mm -hmm. video, you're telling me there's delicious food. I'm going to see what's available. Uh, I'm just going to play that for a second because I want to see it now. <laughs> and and that's just one one project, one job, with a few yeah. keywords. I mean, I could I could mine so many more just for this one blog. I mean, it's it's awesome. I mean, I, I get this is one of those pro I get excited about all of our products, but Swipe Viral, I'm I'm seriously excited about it. I love it. Just I mean, yeah. viral yeah. content with a couple clicks. You can just fill a blog with this stuff. It's all Google friendly. It's all Facebook friendly. It's user friendly. People love this content. They eat it up. People I'm going to say something. on Facebook looking at videos 24-7. It it's growing and growing. I, this is just you perfect know what? I, I'm not really a very social person. And when I go on Facebook, <laughs> which is not very frequently, people are always sharing things that they want me yeah. to see. And I, I, I'm not interested, but you can see how many other people share and reshare. And the original source is forgotten. So, yeah. you know, this sharing thing is, is something, it's just what people do. It happens 24-7. You know? How many times? Every day, most of the people on this webinar, if you are active on Facebook, you probably already have seen multiple headlines. There were big, uh, bold headlines that had some catchy thing, in it, and you click on it, and guess what you see? You see some blog. Maybe it's a news blog. Maybe it's whatever, but that doesn't even matter what blog it's on. That's not what you remember. It's a video <laughs> with a bunch of text talking about the video, and then you click on the video. It's huge. Yeah. It's huge. It's like the number one thing that people do these days. Big corporations do, and that's what Swipe Viral does. It's awesome. It's huge. I'm that's excited. <laughs> people, will be, people will be doing this already without realizing it. Yeah. Because everybody on this call is likely to be following links and looking at things and looking at videos and, you know, various whatever tweets and so on. We all do it. We just tend not to think about it and step back. We've got a ton of questions. Um, we do have some testimonials. I want to show you an unbelievable result, actually. But before we do that, let me answer your questions. It is cloud-based. Uh, you can post to a specific page on your Facebook pages if you want to. You do that. Uh, once you log in, you get the option to choose. And that's all in the training area, by the way. Um, can you send this to blogger blogs? No, it's WordPress blogs. Um, for lifetime members, will the updates be included? Yep. Uh, if you've got several, oh, yeah, pages on Facebook we've answered. Um, what would bring someone to viral content already? Mm, okay. Well, let me just uh, give you an example. So after two days, well, we're now into the third day of using this tool. We we released this to our private membership um, a little bit early, a couple of hours early on Wednesday before everybody else. And some people jumped on it immediately, quite a lot of people. Some started using it immediately. We know that some people take a week or two to look at things, but some will use it immediately. Let me tell you Corey's uh, response to this. So after he'd seen it, because he bought it without even knowing what it did, he now knows what it does. In the past, he's posted a ton of sites, uh, posts on his sites and found that some of them got traffic, but he didn't know why. And all he had was a YouTube video and a little bit of content, a couple of sentences but he'd sometimes get as many as 500 visitors a day. Now he knows that he actually found viral material. So using the software, he's realized why the technique works. So he started doing this. So the next thing he says, which is great, so this is what he did as soon as he started posting. He told us that a post he'd done a little bit earlier, this was about, I think, several hours after he'd posted. It was already indexed by Google and was on page one, number two position 
just behind the original content creator. He's getting traffic already because he took some action, but more importantly, he looked for popular content in his niche, which he, he doesn't want us to tell you that, which is fine. Uh, but for his niche, he found good content that people already like, put it on his post, added a couple of sentences, and you've seen how little content you need from Mashable, from F-stoppers, from everything about Germany. You don't need you know, an entire article, a couple of sentences is enough. He got content, he's got traffic already. Kimberly also told us that she found it very easy to use and she already knew about this technique. She knew the technique already, but she's been doing it in the past manually. And it's a big success if you do it, but you gotta do it properly. Now, what she said is that it takes a ton of time and effort if you do it manually, but this particular software, Swipe Viral, takes that out for you. So in the past, it might take her an hour to 90 minutes to find something viral, publish the content, create a little article around it, get it online. An hour to 90 minutes, maybe two hours. Now you can do it in seconds. You saw how fast it was for me, and I was talking. So if I just do it, I can be much quicker. I actually tested myself earlier today, doing a search from scratch to posting some content. It was about 30 seconds, and then posting to Facebook from my blog would take another five or six seconds. I just did five posts. And yeah, what, well, Josh has minutes. already done five posts. And I could have um, done it quicker. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, when you're stopping and talking and, and so on. You can spend as long or as little as you want on this. That's entirely up to you. And look, there's a simple, there's a rule why this stuff works. Popularity is people voting for you or for that content. And that's something that Google already loves. If it's popular, Google want to serve it to more people because they are in the business of selling you search engine results. Again, but don't let forget, that think in. But don't Go forget, ahead. Google is not the end all be all anymore either. No. And I think sometimes we get stuck in it still because we're so used to it. But Google is not the end all be all. But, but Google does still like this content. Uh, Google likes content that's popular and that's what we give them. But I wanted to hit on a couple of things, Eamon, or were you in the middle of something? Uh, no, no, that's fine. I'm just looking okay. at the questions. There's a ton of them. Okay. So I think yeah. If you, uh, so uh, two things. One thing, actually a couple, th a few things. The first thing, I don't think we ever hit on how we got the idea and why we started creating this. And we did mention in a previous mailer, but I wanted to quickly hit on it. The reason we created this was because we had created a software a little while back that turned out to be a really big hit, very profitable um, just for ourselves. We almost didn't launch it and we did for a short time long story but uh the the premise of that software and what made it do so well was that we focused on only popular media from one particular site we didn't mess with anything else we weren't worried about relevance uh you know only doing relevant posts we wanted only relevant popular posts and so we did that and and like we said in that mailer between ourselves and our clients uh, we generated over a million dollars just from that and it all 100 percent revolved around the popularity of the content later on we uh, there was a change in the terms of service for this this product uh that we tapped into uh, and so we tried something a little different and we tried to go away from that we did everything the same we actually did things better but we didn't go for just those popular uh thing those po that popular media and it absolutely failed it just failed we, we made very little money and it just didn't work nearly yeah. as it did to begin with and so the popular content is all what it was all about and that's what led us to swipe viral uh where we're focusing on the popular content of three different social media platforms. But we've got a, another ton of questions, which is really interesting. Okay. A lot of them are about monetization and people are not quite sure how they can do that. Like, can you have a CPA, out, CPA offers and so on? You can put whatever monetization you like on there. It's monetization. The content isn't particularly relevant to that question. Whether you're using AdSense or affil affiliate links or selling your own product, that's the same as any other blog. Your that actually, will be, sorry, go ahead, yeah. Well, I was gonna say that actually leads to what I wanted to hit on next and I won't, I won't get into it in depth, but affiliate marketing, this is great for affiliate marketing for the same reason it's great, uh, again, in one of the mailers we sent out uh, to sell a product. You know, you use it as a lead in and so, you know, you have affiliate marketing product about losing weight that promises to, you know, maybe it's the keto diet 
well, you get a popular video. You could even get a po- popular video about the keto vi- diet, and that's yeah. your hook. You know, that's your hook that gets them in, and then you show them that, and then you, and then below that video in your blog post, you have an affiliate link to sell that. So there's so many different ways to use this. And and ultimately, it's as simple as you want it to be or as lengthy as you want it to be, because you determine how much content. Marius is asking, can we see how you publish popular content from Twitter and Pinterest? Honestly, that's in the training area, Marius. We don't want to show you the training. It's it's a button that you click that says Pinterest or Twitter. It's exactly the same as we did for YouTube. And, you know, the it's strategy is the same. Thing. Yeah, the strategy is the same. But Whether it's a YouTube video, Twitter, the job, uh, the job on the Twitter, absolutely, a tweet on um, Twitter, text, or anything else. Now, there are going to be some new features. Glenn and a few other people are asking about some new features. For example, scheduling these, adding an image with hyperlink and so on. Not today, but I can tell you they're on the to-do list. So there's going to be some more features that we're putting in there, which will make it even more powerful. It's already powerful. Okay. So a lot of people are asking about monetization again. Seriously, the content is just content, right? Whether you've written this yourself or created a video yourself, doesn't really matter, doesn't change things. If you put a, an AdSense blog, um, AdSense plugin on there, or you have an affiliate link that you add manually, doesn't really matter. It's up to you how you monetize. Uh, and that's something that's irrespective of the content. So don't, don't get confused by the content. It doesn't affect you doing the monetization. You put the adverts where you like them, right? It's your blog. Have a look at it, decide where you want to put them. If you're not sure where to put them, there are lots of discussions online about that. But it isn't really affected by the content itself. The content, it just happens to be popular content that Google already knows about. And that's the point that Cheryl was asking. Why does this become or why can it become viral? It's because Google already knows that this content is popular with people and they want to serve up popular content. It's not all about Google though, remember. <laughs> no, it, it isn't. But people Google are and Facebook and Twitter and everywhere. Right now, everybody's yeah. focusing on Google at the moment actually, which is interesting. Uh, but you, you get a, an effect from the fact that it's already popular. So you, you, you're working with an established piece of content that is popular that people want. <laughs> And Eamon, I wanted to hit on back to the monetization quickly. I know we have tons of questions. We're not going to possibly be able to get them all. There's no. uh, there's a lot of people showed up, a lot of people, and there's tons of questions. We'll get more, but I wanted to hit quickly. We did give you three different monetization methods just today in this in this webinar. Man, the sales are rolling in. People are seeing the value in it. Um, three three different options are affiliate marketing. I just went over that. Yeah. Uh, email marketing, building a list. That's monetization. Uh, and uh, AdSense, that's what I'm doing on everything about Germany. And you can also use affiliate banners on your uh, blog post. Uh, so there's three options right there. And I'm those seeing are them on the screen primary screen. ones. Yeah. So if you look, F-Stoppers are doing the same. They have their own product here, but they also have, um, you know, other advertising. These are affiliate links and so on. We've got Mashable doing the same. Uh, this is looks like an AdSense. Uh, you know, so they're getting adverts on here for which they get money. That's another advert, um, AdSense advert block at the top here. Um, this is a good question from Dan. Uh, and I, I didn't have time to show you, but we'll, we'll, we'll do some training on it. If your site's good, you can even make more content available for subscription. So I'm going to show you something which, um, if I were to post to my blog, now it depends on the plugins you have, but I have a particular plugin on my blog for a membership site. One of the things I can do is add a shortcut code. Now, if you don't know what that means, don't worry. It's not a problem. And the shortcut code is something like um, this. This is only for members. And I can actually restrict the content that people see on that blog. But I can also invite them. I'm just putting this code in to show you an example. If you're not yet a member, you can subscribe free or paid for more content here. And then with this particular short code, that would automatically lock certain blocks of content on the post and tell people that to get more, they can subscribe. And it could be free if you do a free, free model or it could be paid, whichever you like. But that depends on the plugin you have. You can use short codes on here. Um, Kimberly was asking in the uh, forum about short codes. Short codes are something she uses 
to manipulate the adverts that she shows on a particular post. So if you have a blog with plugins that use short codes, you can even use them here as well. And that's absolutely a um, fantastic tool which gives you tremendous flexibility and it just takes a couple of seconds to type in, as you can see. So, uh, you know, and, and there's a number of ways you can do this. We have the, what we call the freemium model where you get them to sign up to get some content. Then you can give them uh, upgrade links to um, platinum, gold, silver, whatever, and so on. Lots of different ways. That's more about uh, membership sites, which we don't have time to get into. But you, you can do that, in other words. So there's lots more ways to monetize than the ones we've mentioned. I mean, really, we, we've only touched the surface here, and we're nearly at an hour now. So you can There's, see just how much you can do here. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I don't, Eamon, I don't remember if we – we may have covered this already, but another option that you can do in Swipe Viral, um, kind of a side note, is that you can share these this viral content on your – own social profiles so uh, you can just eliminate posting to your blog altogether or you can do both and you can you can share the popular content so that just helps you to build up your social profiles which is a really good thing in and of itself uh, steve's asking is there any way to locate new material that's gaining momentum well keep searching and you'll see uh, yeah that happens it's naturally it's a yeah it's actually it's a search popular. Yeah. Swipe Viral actually does the search and pulls the results. So yeah. if there's a new, it's 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 live. It's like you know, right now, if there's another search, it's going to be. If there's a new trending thing, it's going <laughs> to pop. Up. Do that, um, and then you can also post a whole bunch of blog posts um, straight away, and then come and do your Facebook and Twitter and Tumblr and Pinterest posting later if you want to using what we call share. Now again, this is not meant to be training. I'm just showing you. So I've got some here that I've done earlier, and I can post them. As you can see, so I can come to this a week later if I want to. I can get the blog post sorted out to a whole batch of them. Um, so you can do this in batches. You can do your blog post one day. The next day, you can do your social posting and so on. Um, how Eamon, the, uh, yeah. I may have missed this because I'm, I'm looking at questions and stuff. You may have already covered it. Did we show the share page? Uh, yes, just now. Okay. Yeah, I, was, yeah. I figured I'd missed it. So blog posts that you've created will show here um, so that you can come later and do the social sharing if you want to which means you can do things in batches. Um, if you already posted to uh, Facebook, then you know it's not going to show here because it's been done. But you can do these in a block later. And what that means is you could blo uh, log in once. Let's say if you've got a particular client, you, if he allows you to log into his Facebook and Twitter, you can log in for that client, update all the social media for his blog posts, then you can log out of his Twitter and Facebook and so on, and then go to the next client, or do your stuff and so on. So the share page is great if you want to do defer deferred social sharing. Candace is saying, congratulations, this is a powerful tool. Thank you. Uh, let's have a look. Stephen is saying, if it's half as good as previous products, this is a total no-brainer. Thank you, Stephen. We think so. Actually, for me personally, the thing that is most exciting is just how simple it is. There's no real thinking required. I mean, you've got to it's choose a keyword, but, you know. It's push button viral content. Article Builder is one of our most popular products ever. It still does many sales every single day. And, and and the reason why is because it's push button content. Well, this is push button viral content. Uh, it doesn't replace Article Builder. They, they have their own two different uses. But uh, it is it is powerful to have push button viral content. You saw the five blog posts I just published to everything about Germany.com in about six or seven minutes. And I could have done even better. I could have written, you know, a little better and spent, you know, an extra five minutes and made, it, it made them even better. But they're already ready. They're ready to go viral. They're ready for traffic. They're ready uh, to do make me money. And I did it um, that quickly and that easily. And it's not here yet, but it is coming. A new feature will allow you to create the blog posts, queue them up, and then Swipe Viral will publish them for you on a schedule, daily, twice daily, whatever. So you can sit back. You can log in once, do a whole bunch of posts, and then leave it to do that for you. It's not there today, but it is a feature that we are adding into it. And Brian asks. Oh, yeah, sorry, Brian. Brian asks, does it pull content from breaking news sites? No, it doesn't. It pulls uh, viral content from YouTube, Pinterest, and Twitter right now. We may add more sources in the future, but just those three alone are huge, and that's where we get our content. Yeah, it really is. I'm just um, Let's have a look and see if I'm missing anything, because there's a lot of questions. Some are the same, of course. Uh, by the way, the share button is brand new. That was added yesterday because somebody suggested it. Uh, the scheduling 
is going to be added because somebody suggested it. So we do listen to feedback. And if there's a suggestion that will make this tool more powerful, we will always look at adding it in as a new feature. So this is not finished yet. It's going to get more powerful over the next few weeks. Yeah, and by the way, Eamon, I wanted to, you know, whether it's Swipe Viral, especially Swipe Viral, that's what we're talking about, but any of our products, we love to hear your feedback. If you ever want to send us a recommendation, that's what drives us. We love, we want to make Swipe Viral and any of our products the best they possibly can be, and the best way to do that is to get your feedback. Let us know what you'd like to see. We may very well, we might be able to do it that day. I mean, John's good. <laughs> he can yeah, make updates, yeah. so um, send them to us yeah, by all yeah. means. We love to hear well, your feedback. Yeah, one of the suggestions we made was uh, we'd like to be able to have the video at the top or the bottom of the post. Uh, we sent a message to John, and he came back um, about seven minutes later. Okay, that's done. I said, what's done? Well, the ability to specify <laughs> where you <laughs> – so, um, You can do better than that, too. You'll have several yeah, well, he was, he was in the car, I think, at the time. <laughs> so, yeah, there will be a lot more um, development going on to make it even more powerful. But we do want to make sure it is – simple so if you ever suggest something that's going to make it complex we'll probably say no uh, we're getting lots of people asking about the best niches you know all the popular ones when you start looking with some keywords you will see from the results in your job just how um, good the viral spread is for a particular topic so we saw with some of the youtube videos 49 million 500,000 comments and so on um, if you're seeing 250 likes and seven comments and 325 views, probably not the best keyword. So you can just keep targeting until you find something. And I didn't show you because it is really training, but oh, come on, let's show you. Uh, let me show you one quick, very quick, while we're waiting for some final questions to come in. Um, one of the things you can do when you do a job, if you're lacking in inspiration, you can generate keywords. So, oh, I don't know what, diamonds. I've no idea why I put that, but it's the least attractive thing I can think of. If this is going to give me keywords related to diamonds. So I can have a look at these later and choose the ones that I think may be most popular. These are search terms that people are actually putting into the search engines. So diamonds perfume, I've never heard of. Diamonds are forever is a song. So we just scroll down. Diamonds pressure, diamond Rihanna cover. That's a song, I guess. Um, we'll tour. That must be something. Is it a... Uh, Band or something. We also uh, it, did we get in? Did you get into again? I I was doing comments and and adding posts, so I missed a lot of things. But did you get into the content options? We had somebody who asked. Brian asks, will Article Builder integrate into Swipe Viral to build content up on the page where it already is? Already and there. So, yeah. Let me show so you. Article, I'll show you quickly. Yeah. But please, it's not training. There's full training there. Uh, I just want to show you how you do this. So. When you and more than just article builder, too. Yeah, yeah. we've got a Sorry. PLR database, 130,000. So let's find oh, this one, lemon ginger tea. So we do a post, and I have no idea what to put. So I'm going to let the swipe viral tell me. I'm going to get some content either from the PLR database, and I've got a ton of categories, or from article builder. So let's have a look. Uh, weight loss, OK. And I want 300. Let's import some content. I now have a 300-word article. It took me six seconds, including talking to you. Anybody else want to see if we can do 300 words in six seconds? <laughs> no. No takers. Um, so you've got a ton of content there. Now, let me just move this up. You can, you know, do a little bit of uh, bolding and that kind of thing. You can make um, particular words linkable. So you can put a hyperlink to your affiliate links, to your products, to other blogs, to whatever you like. So there's a lot of stuff you can do in here. Uh, and if you really want to, you can even do direct HTML in here, which is more advanced, but I wouldn't recommend it for most people. Choose where you're going to put the video. Choose whether you want it as a draft, because you may want to go and look at it later. So, you know, there's, there's ways to do that. So look, 300 word article. Let's say I don't like it. So I'm going to go to the content. Uh, let's choose a different one. Now, I might want to choose, if I've got a weight loss blog, I might want to talk about exercise. Um, Do so we have to have access to Article Builder through Swipe Viral, or is that, <clears throat> or is it that, uh, or is it only if you already have Article Builder? No, it's integrated into it, so you don't have to have Article Builder. Included. So that's pretty good. So uh, let me just add that in. So now I've got a 700 word article on muscle building, which, by the way, for weight loss is extremely good. So I can make that 
article match any video about weight loss. Uh, and in fact, for that particular example, why the guy has a lot of loose skin because he lost 300 pounds, I could talk about how toning his muscles would actually help to tone the skin and so on. And I could put a little bit of my own content in here to make it truly unique. So I can spend 20 seconds to do this or I can spend 20 minutes. It's up to me. So you can do this as quickly or as thoroughly as you wish. And I would actually personally, this is just me, I'm just telling you what I would do. I would mix up an occasional longer article now and then so that all the articles aren't just two sentences. So, you know, if you're doing 20 posts a week or whatever, I'd probably add in some longer ones with a bit more detail, a little bit more in-depth and so on. Uh, the title here is for the page on the blog. Absolutely. So if I show you, let me show you. So if I do my demo blog, uh, and we'll do a weight loss. So this will become the title of the page on the blog. So let me just go post it, post the video, and it's going to take five seconds, four, three, two, well, two seconds. Uh, and this is the post. Did I do it? Oh, did it? I did it as draft, didn't I? Okay. So I'd have to log into my blog because I did it as a draft, but okay. So I forgot to change it to published. April saying it took her two hours to write a 450 word article on Monday and 20 minutes to post it and find it. And she's just seen how quick this is. So it's like, you know, it's amazing, isn't it? And bear in mind, you know, your own level of quality that you want, you can go for. If you want to spend 20 minutes making a really great article to go with the video, fine. If you want click, 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 fine it's not a problem because you can choose which way you use it look if you've got a car you can drive slow or you can go at the maximum speed of the car that's your choice it's the same with swipe viral you can put as much or as little content as you want steven's saying this is absolutely awesome thank you yep oh that's a good question Eamon. the from glenn he says what image gets posted to social accounts well uh, john's taken care of that uh, and honestly yeah. i don't remember all the technical details but i know that he pulls the image from i think for the videos what is he takes the, uh, the thumbnail right he takes the thumbnail and posts that and so See, this is the blog, video and, and that yeah. that thumbnail becomes the featured image which will then show up in Facebook and so on. Of course, you'll need to have that uh, Open Graph plugin installed. Really simple, easy. Install it, activate it, and for most plugins, that's all you have to do. No configuration necessary, and now that will have... ensure that it get the correct information gets pulled. But it's yeah. real simple. And the help area gives you all the training. You can visit the support forum, the help desk. You can download the PDF manual. You can view it online. This is where you get the plugin. And then we have uh, the walkthrough videos as well showing you how to do this. So all the training you need is actually already there. This webinar is not meant to be training. This is talking about the strategy. And we've talked about multiple monetization methods, affiliate links, your own product, membership sites if you wanted, uh, simple AdSense, CPA offers, do any of those. This, it's exactly the same as any other site. Nothing about this content will stop you monetizing it the particular way you want to. When you've found some viral content, that's what makes the search engines take notice because they already know it's popular. They know what people are searching for and they know what people are looking at. They already know this. So if it's popular and you have popular content, it's it's not exactly rocket science, is it? You know, it's fairly obvious that popular content is going to be shared more than non-popular content. Um, Barry and a couple of other people have said, can this help in getting new sites approved for AdSense? Curated content on its own probably isn't the best thing to do. You want some uh, original content in there as well, but it can certainly help because and you don't need your site. I Honestly, you don't need a whole lot. I, I, re, I th really believe that's overrated. Yeah. It, even Google will see um, if it's if it becomes popular and you start to have popular posts on your site, and you will over time. The, the The uniqueness of it is a secondary issue. They just want to see content that people like. That's what people need to understand about Google. And again, it's not even all about Google. Google's just one of the many traffic sources now. Social media is a huge one, and that doesn't matter whatsoever if it's unique or not. So, Yeah, absolutely. Have we missed any questions, Josh? Because I mean, we've run way over what we said. There, there are so <laughs> many um, questions. I don't even think it would be possible, like literally, without well, I've got, This is here. a good one. Brian's asking a very specific <clears throat> What question, which I think would be interesting for the audience. Is it realistic to do this for a medical content site? Brian, if you can give me some of the kind of keywords that relate to your type of site, I'll do a quick search to find out because I don't know. 
But if there is content online that is already popular, then the answer is yes. But I don't know if there's that kind of content because I would have to look. So depending on what you mean by a medical content site, that could be general advice. It could be um, pharmacy. Surely there would be. In one way, I mean, there, I if there's so. popular content on YouTube or Twitter uh, or Pinterest that would be related to your niche, then yes. And there is, there's content on just about any niche and you know, on those <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Um, we, we have... Donald Trump with us asking if we could give a summary of what it's all about. I, I don't think it's <laughs> Trump, but the summary, let me give you a quick summary for everybody. Swipe Viral is a tool that allows you to find already popular content and curate it to your own blog with as much uniqueness as you wish, and then promote your blog post on social media in a couple of clicks. What it does is find that content for you, one click, post it for you, one click, socialize it for you, one click. What you can do in a couple of minutes might take you a couple of hours manually. So let's have a look. Uh, a lot of people saying they're excited. That's great. Stephen Stephen says, surely we should be able to beat the pants off the buzzfeeds <laughs> of this world because we can do so quickly and easily and more content, which Google will love. And that's absolutely true. Yeah, it, it really is. And, you know, this is a simple tool to use. It's a click, 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 and it's done.